The murder trial of the man accused of killing Colorado mother Kelsey Barrett begins today. The multi-state investigation made national headlines. The 29-year-old woman was last seen in a grocery store with her baby on Thanksgiving Day last year. Her body was never found. Barrett's fiance, Patrick Frazee, is charged with her murder. Nikki Batiste has been covering this story from the very beginning. Nikki, what can we expect today? Anthony, good morning. Jury selection is set to begin and last a few days. At the center of this trial is Crystal Lee, a nurse who was allegedly having an affair with Patrick Frazee. She claims she cleaned up the murder crime scene because she wanted to please Frazee and because she feared him. This case really does live or die on Crystal Lee. As prosecutors prepare their star witness for the murder trial against Patrick Frazee, legal experts say it may not be a slam dunk case. There's University no, of Colorado law professor Aya Gruber. There's no body and there's no murder weapon. Crystal Lee, an Idaho nurse, was allegedly Frazee's secret girlfriend. She told authorities Frazee tried to get her to kill Kelsey Barrett three different times, once with a poisoned Starbucks coffee. Lee says in the end, it was Frazee who murdered the mother of his child at Barrett's home on Thanksgiving Day by beating her with a baseball bat. But male DNA found at the crime scene does not match Frazee. How would you describe the physical evidence in this case so far? I would describe the physical evidence uh, that I know of to be pr pretty weak. At trial, Frazee's defense may point the finger at Lee, suggesting she's fabricated parts of her story before. Do you think the defense yes. will paint Crystal Lee as a liar? They will absolutely paint Crystal Lee as a liar. And in fact, there is evidence that initially she did lie to investigators. She said that she had no idea who Patrick Frazee or Kelsey Barrett were. After Barrett's disappearance, investigators say her cell phone pinged 800 miles from her home in Woodland Park, Colorado, near Gooding, Idaho. Investigators say Lee eventually admitted she had the phone, destroyed it, and she also got rid of Barrett's keys and a gun, all to help Frazee cover his tracks. Why? Crystal had it all. She had it all. Laura Stutzman lives in Lee's Idaho community and has known her since she was a teenager. We spoke to her in an interview for 48 hours. There's no sentence imposed by a judge that can actually be more harsh than what her community will put on Crystal. In exchange for her testimony, Lee agreed to plead guilty to evidence tampering. She faces a maximum of three years in prison, but if her story falls apart, her deal is off the table. Frazee has entered a not guilty plea and faces life in prison if convicted. And I can't help but think about Kaylee, Kelsey, and Patrick's yes. daughter, who's now oh, too. She is with Kelsey Barrett's what parents. Are they, what are, Nikki, what do they suspect Frazee's motive would be in this case? Prosecutors have said they believe it was actually a custody battle over Kaylee, that they found documents at Patrick Frazee's ranch that he wanted custody, but we don't know if Kelsey actually was aware. Where did you oh. say Kaylee was, the little girl? She's Cause... with Kelsey Barrett's parents. Yeah, because yeah, it's heartbreaking to see the video of them yes. in the grocery yes. store that Thanksgiving day. Yeah, one year ago. Yeah. Nikki, thank you very much.